In this lesson, we are going to implement the login API in backend. When user go to the login page and enter email and password, if it's wrong after login, we show this error message, invalid email or password. But if user enter the correct email password, we log in the user and in the header menu, we show the username and redirect user to the home page. To get the source code of this lesson, go to the repository and in the comment section, find video 14 create login API. Let's get to code. Plan to create login API. We are going to use next of package from Versal. Here is the link of this website and we are going to follow the structure here to make authentication possible in our project. Let's install it. Open your terminal in a new terminal. Run npm install next off. Next step is creating a folder inside API and set the folder name to off. And inside of create a new file, set file name to square bracket dot 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 next of close the square bracket dot js every request for signing and sign out and checking the authentication will be redirected to this file and we need to handle it here let us start by importing next of then export default next of it's a function that accept object as a parameter for object we need to set some properties the first one is session and the session is jwt we are going to authenticate user using jwt strategy so set the session inside that define an object set strategy property for session to jwt next setting for the next off is callback callback is an object and inside that we need to define the first function in the callback object it is jwt it's an async function like this jwt accept two parameters the first one is token and second one is user here we check the user id if it does exist fill the token dot underline id with the user dot underline id also do the same for is admin if user dot is admin is true then set is admin in the token true too so the user id is coming from database and the token is in the next of life cycle so what we are going to do is to fill the token with the data from database save it to structure your code and then go for the next step in the next callback we are going to define session function it accepts two parameters session and token do the same for it in the session function we check the token dot underline id if it exists fill the session with token do the same for is admin and at the end return session so in the jwt callback we fill the token in the session callback we fill the session so the data from the database in the user will be set for token and session let's go for the next setting here to find the providers providers is an array and the provider that we are going to use in this project is credentials provider so we are going to authenticate user based on the mongodb database not using github authentication or google login so we are using credential provider as a parameter for credential provider define an object and inside that define authorize function authorize is an async function that accept credential as parameter inside that connect to the database and find the user in the database based on the email in the credential parameter we need to import user 
from models folder db if you don't get the recommendation just open that file and then control space here to get the recommendation from it like this for user and db so what we did here is to connect to the database get the user from the database using find one method on the user model in mongoose and then disconnect save the code the next step is checking the user and password together if user exists it means that we have user with this email and credential that password the password that user entered in the text box in the front end is equal to the password in the database using compare sync from bcrypt.js then it means that the user and password is correct so here we need to handle authentication let's import bcrypt.js press tab to import bcrypt.js from bcrypt.js and in this step we need to return an object this object is coming from the database we are going to return id name email for email just enter anything you like we are not we're not going to handle it here is admin all of them is coming from the user collection in the mongodb database save it let's import credential provider scroll up here import credential provider from next auth providers credential here is the provider function what if the email and password is incorrect right after this if through new error invalid email or password so we return email and password error to the front end awesome we implemented the sign in function and we configured the next auth in our project let's use it open login.js and here we are going to handle submission what we're gonna do here is to define a try catch body let's get rid of it define try catch body and here call sign in function from next off make this function async because we use await here sign in function should be imported let's import it scroll up right here import sign in from next off slash react signing function accept two parameters the way that we are going to authenticate its based its credential so we could use google or github or any other login provider the second parameter is email password and parameter for redirect we are not going to redirect user we're gonna do it manually after login so what we do is to pass email and password to the signing function it's gonna be handled right here in the next of handler if there is an error i'm going to toast an error if there is an error in this api toast error here i'm going to use the get error function it's a function that i need to implement inside the utils folder right click new file set file name to error.js inside that define get error function it's an error function inside that i check error.response response.data and response.data.message if they are exist return it otherwise return the common message save the code and export get error like this so inside login.js we can import get error for toast for toast i'm going to use react toastify package open your terminal npm install react toastify then go to layout at the very beginning of layout function import toast container from react toastify then scroll down to find the head right after head use toast container and set position to bottom center and limit number of toasts at the same time to one save the code and go back to login.js control space and toast press tab to import toast from react toastify awesome 
Here is the submit handler function. Let's go for the next step. What I'm gonna do is to check the user login in the login screen component. At the beginning of login screen component, use use session hook from next off and get the data and rename it to session. Then define use effect like this. Import use effect from React here. And inside that, what I'm gonna do is to check the session.user. If it does exist, it means that user logged in already. So when we do the sign in here, automatically sign session that user will get new value and then here we need to redirect user to another page what is the another page it's the redirect i need to get the redirect from the query string if it doesn't exist use the home page so redirect user to the home page if there is no redirect in the query string before going for redirect, let's get router. Router is coming from use router. Use router is coming from next router. So to redirect user, we need to use use router and from use router, get router and use router.push to redirect user to another page. Where do we can get the redirect from the query string? Use router.query and extract redirect from the router.query object. To get rid of warning here, put router session and redirect. Save the code and there we are. When there is a change in the session, use effect runs and here session.user has value and we redirect user to the redirect that we have defined in the query string. Let's import use session from next dash off slash react here. To access to the session, we need to go to the app.js and inside app.js import session provider from next off slash react. Then wrap store provider with session provider like this. Put the closing one and save it. We need to pass the session to session provider. How we can get the session? It's coming from the page props. So get rid of page props and change it to session and the rest of page props properties. We pass the session to the session provider and we can have session in all pages, including login.js. Great. Let's go to layout.js and show the username after login in the header menu. Here we show only the login. But what I'm gonna do is to get the session, like what we did in the login page, scroll up right here, use use session hook, import it, and get session and a status. What is a status? It's a flag that shows the loading of session so while we are loading the session, we don't show the user name. Let's scroll down, find the login, and here check the status. If it is loading, show loading. Let's get rid of extra opening bracket. So what we did here is to check the status. If it's loading, show loading. Let's put it inside parentheses. Otherwise, check session.user. If it does exist, then show the username. Otherwise, show a link to the login page and make it inside that put an anchor like this. Get rid of this. Get rid of link here. Get rid of parentheses here and save the code. Awesome. We have a status. If it's loading, show loading message. Otherwise, if session.user exists, show the username. Otherwise, show login. Save the code. Also in the layout, scroll up. And here, import react-toastify CSS from this link. Save the code. And let's check the results. 
Here I'm in the home page. If I refresh the page, you can see the loading here and click on login, enter admin, email and password. You can find it in the data.js here and click on login. Awesome. We get redirected to the home page because we didn't go to that page from the checkout screen. And as you see, we have John in the header menu. Let's remove it. Let's log out by removing the cookie. Click here, click cookies, remove and refresh the page. Uh -huh. Here I'm logged out. Select the product, add to cart, check out. Uh -huh. Here the redirect is shipping. So after login, I will be redirected to the shipping screen. But we didn't implement it yet. So that's the topic of the next lesson. But what we did in this lesson is to implement login API. Let's go to the home page. And for next lesson, we implement the sign out and shipping screen. Let's review what we did in this lesson. We installed next off and react hostify in the layout we show the username if it's logged in in app.js we use session provider to provide session for all pages in the login.js we implemented the we send an ajax request to the sign in api to authenticate user and also we created next off.js to provide credential authentication using mongodb database also we provided error function to get the error message that's it about this lesson until next lesson bye bye